I guess um, from the bottom. <laughs> How about we go with um, Calvin Davis and Kevin Johnson? Hell of a fight, man. I, um, good call, though. I think 10 rounds would have made a difference. It would have went to Calvin because Johnson started fading towards the end. He started um, giving up real estate. I mean, at first he was moving around because he was boxing, but towards the last two rounds, three rounds, he was just falling back, you know? But um, it was a good fight, real good fight. I think um, Kevin Johnson had a problem with the height, you know? I mean, figured it out. It, it was too late. But that was a good fight. I knew that was going to be. I couldn't. That's one of the fights I couldn't wait for, you know. Kevin uh, showed a lot of heart from, you know, from the beginning to end, pressing the fight, boxing. Yeah. What do you think he could have did a little bit better, uh, but, you know, to get away um, from the jab? Do you feel like he had a hard time closing the distance at times? He was, he was jumping in with his right hand. I think he could have... Um, you know, turned off, stepped off to his left a little bit more at times, you know, use his face. Right. He got desperate to start jumping in. But he fought a hell of a fight, though. Mm -hmm. I don't like to say the um, commentators, they, they, they look, they, they compliment what their fighters do, you know, for the, for the promotion. But when the, when the other person, when the B side do something, they don't call them, they talk over, you know. Shit was crazy. Right. Um, leading up to that, um, I think we can go and shout out to Keith Cologne, his first uh, um, debut. Oh, yeah. So he looked good. Sure, he looked good? Yeah, he looked good. Yeah. He got a little, he got hit a little too early in my likings, really early. Yeah. Um, with his hands down. Yeah. He was able to get the job done. I feel like uh, he has a good future at the featherweight division. Um, but, yeah, pretty pretty great uh, performance. Mm -hmm. It was actually the youngest guys on the card were the ones that were kind of like stole yeah. the show. Yeah, they were shining last night. It looked real good. So let's get into um, – I love the promotion, the hype that they gave Abdul Mason before the fight. I think it was well-deserved. And then the way he embraced it with the questions yeah. and answering them. I try to tell people, man, he he, he next one up, man, Abdul Mason. He was, I think, the best mm. of the fighter on the whole card last night. Mm. Yeah, he was good. That's Let's talk number, about it. That's my number two lightweight now. So you posted that. Um, and that was due to more of his performance or due to the fact of uh, Shakur's performance? Because you had him at number two at one point in time. Or is it a combination of both? A little bit of both, both man. I mean, no offense, but how many times are you going to pull a fan's legs, you know? Pissing on the head telling him it's, and telling him it's raining, you know? Mm. He's just spinning people they they wait for this something to happen that is not gonna happen you know what I mean you know and so, uh, 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 Mason sort of rising star he ain't ducking he ain't ducking and dodging nobody and he fighting stiff competition you know so <clears throat> this was a big step up for Abdullah Mason right you know, this guy, he's a tough Puerto Rican guy. He's had only a couple losses, lots of KOs for, you know. But in the same time, he outclassed every second of the fight. Um, they asked him and his father, what did they what did they learn from this fight? I think the answer was, was um, what, you know, this is what they, what they taught, really. Yeah. yeah. I think right now he's moving just like Tank when Tank first came on the scene. He's getting him out of there. The faster you get him out of there, the less punches you take, you know? Um, I think he should fight Autumn next. So he can show people what he's about, you know? Mm -hmm. he'll stop. I think he'll stop Autumn. 
you mentioned that on IG as well. You you believe that he would have stopped Artem. Yeah, for sure. He would have stopped Artem. Mm. Talk to me. Talk to me about why you see that. Is it the way? Is it the way he's putting his punches together, um, Abdullah Mason? He take chances, man. He's he big. He's strong, and, and he take chances. And engage a little bit more, you know. I was listening to interviews with Jay Prince. You know, they asked him, hey, what do you think about Abdullah Mason You're up compared to guys like Andre Ward and Mayweather? And he said that there's a speed difference. You know, um, he's, a, he's a different type of special fighter. Jay Prince. What do you, what do you see when, he, when, they, when you hear those type of words? What do you I, see? Look, Jay Prince is right, man. He got, he got his hands on a winner, a, a real fighter. That He got that... that throwback style and and that throwback um temperament you know he he not playing man he, he working he's getting him out of there so for real the whole mason family man they making boxing great again mm. what impressed you the most in uh abdullah's performance yesterday his pause is his for to be so young man you know He's so pulled and professional. Do you um? Did you learn anything from Abdullah Mason uh, last night that you didn't know about him? No, no. no. He, I knew he was gonna, I, he was gonna get the job done. You know, mm. great kid, great family. I think they made sh shirts, right? And um, they were saying something upon like uh, I forget what. A it was that you know you can't sign up but you can't take the smoke or something like that do you feel like that's going to be his whole his whole like 2000 the rest of 24 25 clearing things up like that people just can't take the smoke can't take the smoke mm -hmm. yeah that's a, that's a good slogan for him his trademark slogan can't take the smoke <laughs> so all right you've mentioned you know him and Keyshawn Davis, him and, you know, Kid Austin. Other names, those are the, those are the kind of like the big names. Now, looking at, okay, we're going to get right into uh, Keyshawn Davis's performance next. But, like, what would you say uh, Abdullah Mason and Keyshawn Davis, they have around the same amount of fights. What do you think about that fight? Um, that would be a hell of a fight, man. Real good fight. I think I think right now, um, Macy had a more stiff opponent, you know? Yeah, that'd be a great fight. A great fight. What about uh, Emilio Vargas? He stopped uh, Garcia last night, right? That was their model. Yeah, uh, that he, he's... He, I don't know if everyone is as high as I don't think everyone's as high as the, the smallest one, the youngest one, the 54 pounder. Okay, okay. Um, actually, I think he's hotter than the 54 pounder, and that's for other reasons, you know, things that I know, things that I witnessed and stuff, you know. But yeah, that, man, I knew he was gonna stop Garcia brother last night. Garcia brother got so caught up in chasing his brother around. And he forgot he was a damn fighter, you know? Mm. <laughs> yeah. He got stopped. 